A lot of people have an opinion about the Redskins name debate, but the opinions that matter the most are those of Native Americans. Now, we know how the Oneida Indians feel, but what about local Native American tribes? Horace Holmes is live with their take on it. Horace. Leon, so much national attention has been placed on the name Redskins recently, but local Native Americans have been debating this issue for decades. The latest push to change the name of Washington's professional football team, the effort that has made national headlines and even prompted a response from President Obama, has been led by leaders of the Oneida Nation, a Native American tribe located in upstate New York. But eliminating the name Redskins is not a new fight for local Native American leaders. For us to be in the 21st century, and we still use a racial slur to identify the name of a professional football team. Jay Winter Nightwolf is a member of the Cherokee Indian tribe and along with executive producer Ramon Grimaldi host American Indian Truths on Pacifica Radio's WPFW FM. They have for almost 20 years been trying to bring attention to what they call the degrading racist and genocidal term Redskins. A term they say was first used 600 years ago in the newly settled America. It's not one word Redskin, it was the red skin that had to be attached to the scalp in order for people to be paid for slaughtering Native Americans. But Walt Redhawk Brown, chief of the Cheronaqua Nottoway tribe in Virginia, says he considers Redskins a term of honor. Brown says Native American leaders and President Obama should be focused on more important issues. Why would my president say that's offensive to him? What's offensive to me is this. We have 11 state recognized tribes and he hasn't done one thing to get those tribes federal recognized. What about black skin? What about white skin? What about yellow skin? You know, you don't hear these names being used. Now, local Native American leaders we talked with on both sides of this issue say that this is a healthy debate, one that likely won't end anytime soon. Reporting live downtown, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.